Before the video starts, over 84% of you all who watch our videos are not subscribed, and it would mean so much to me, Landon, if you guys would hit that subscribe button and like the video. We really do appreciate every single one of you so much. Now let's get into the video. What's up, everybody? It's your boy CB back after another video. So by far, our most requested video on the channel is how to make less lag happen, how to decrease your lag, how to increase your FPS, all that type of stuff. So. We've made many, many videos on that, but we wanted to find more ways to help you guys. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing 14, I'm going to list of 14 different things you guys can do, whether you're on an Apple product or an Android product, and like different things you can do in settings in the game to your iPad or Android device or iPhone or whatever, that'll help increase the performance of your game. So we've made so many videos that some of this stuff are repeated from the old videos because I know some of you guys haven't watched our other videos on it. Some of you have, so just bear with us on the ones if you've already heard some of our biggest opinions. But some of the stuff is new that I've never mentioned in any of the other videos before. So hopefully you'll get something out of the video whether or not you've watched our other videos. And also, <laughs> the gameplay is not the best. I'm still getting used to switching to Seven Finger Claw, so bear with me on that. I also went a little overboard on and had a little bit too much fun editing this, but just ignore that. But anyway, I'm going to get right into it. So first up, my number one tip, always we say it on all of them, turn down your 3D resolution if you're lagging. That'll fix it like 75% of the time. Just keep lowering your 3D res until you're not lagging. And also play on low graphics if you're not, if, like, if you're fine on like high graphics and play on high, but usually turning it down to low will fix a lot of the lag as well as the 3D res thing. Also, make sure you're closed out of all other apps so that Fortnite's the only apps that is open. You're going to want to also go into your settings on the device and turn off background app refresh. You can just search it in settings. Another tip I have, do not screen record or stream unless you really, really want to or have to. Because if you're screen recording or if you're streaming, that is going to make it lag more. So if you're playing like a tournament, might not be the best idea if it's like really laggy. Another thing for your settings, turn off automatic updates. That definitely helps out. A setting in Fortnite you can change is allow low power mode in Fortnite. That'll help. You're also going to want to make sure your storage has as much space as possible. So delete all the big apps and videos that you don't need on your device. Next up, I recommend only using Wi-Fi. So see, I turn off my AirDrop and my Bluetooth. Another thing you can do in settings is make sure that your GPS is off unless, say like the Maps app, you maybe want to have GPS on only when you're in the app because otherwise it'll be like using your location in apps if you have GPS services on for apps while you're not in the app, which will definitely slow you down. So this is kind of one of the things I have done personally, which hasn't, I haven't, haven't really heard any like proof on it, but I turned off my kill feed and the show FPS feature because I just feel like having a bunch of stuff on the HUD is going to like require more power from the device to do. So I have that stuff off. I don't really know if it helps, but that's just something I personally do. I also have, these are some of the Android tips that I've checked up. Enable game mode is a setting you can do. It's in the performance mode for settings. In the Android settings thing, I don't really have Android, so I don't really know how it works. Another thing for Android is no background processes in background process limit setting. So you Android people might know what that means, but in the background process limit setting, make sure it's no background processes. That should help the performance. And last up, be, make sure your iPad, Android device, or iPhone is all up to date with the latest software because if it's not, then like the device itself could have issues that haven't been fixed by its provider or whatever. And then also make sure your app, your Fortnite app is updated because a lot of the glitches that could be causing performance issues will be fixed by Fortnite. There's a lot of them that they don't fix, sadly, but they do fix some of them. So if your app is up to date, there could be, if your app isn't up to date, there could be things that have been patched. So just make sure it's up to date. One more tip I would like to mention is I recommend turning off your device when you're sleeping at night or if you're just not going to be using it for a while. Because if you give your 
device a chance to like recharge in the times you're not using it fully off it'll help its performance a lot while it is on but yeah those are my basic tips i'll make a video if i come up with better tips that i find so be sure to subscribe if you want to see whatever the next tips i find is because these are what i've found so far the top ones that i've found but yeah i'm gonna make sure you guys are up to date with whatever new tips i do find i hope this video was helpful for you guys in some way I know some of the stuff I have said in other videos, so I hope that there was something new that you found, and I hope the Android tips help the Android players out there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. That's going to do it for me. CB out. Peace.